Only a generation that intends to grow remembers the eras of the past and what they stand for. And that is why a call blog is live at Ereko Street, Lagos Island, the King Kosoko's Palace, for the 151st remembrance anniversary of King Kosoko. A true Lagosian known for his royal disposition and extraordinary leadership, a man whose lineage flows with royalty. You can trust a court blog to bring you the details of this event as it unfolds. I am Olanika Olorinshala. Do stay with us. The great King Kosoko Palace came alive again with lots of pomp, fun, religious and traditional collaborations and camaraderie as it marked the third edition of the 151st Remembrance of the Great King Kosoko. The event, which was held on the 15th of April at the King Kosoko's Palace, witnessed a combination of multi-religious orchestra, all celebrating the late monarch and all he stands for. At first, there were traditional prayers to the gods via sacrifices and rituals led by Abiola Kosoko, the Oloja elect of Lagos, and the priest in charge, Obafemi Olojo Kosoko. <laughs> Ah, 
Celebration kicks off with the entrance of the masquerade, giving eyesores to the people before its entrance to the palace, thereby amusing all with a dance before the Ologer of Lagos walked into the shrine to greet the gods.
Consequently, a Christian musical band sang choral praises to God as the Ologia danced with family and friends who came to celebrate with him. <laughs>
Furthermore, Islamic prayers were held led by Al Fashiu, who made Quranic recitation as well as cutable in remembrance of the great king and his deeds while alive. <laughs>
ولم يكن له شريك في الملك ولم يكن له وليم من الزوري وكفر التكبير جاجوي سبحان الله جاجوي الحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله جاجوي لقصي سبحان الله
Present at the event was the Seriki Fulani of Lagos, who also gave a speech on the good deeds of Obaku Soko.
God to give your bosom. Ah, eh, oh, me. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I don't want to move on. In conclusion, prayers were made for the Kusoko family after which the Oloja of Lagos State ended the celebration with words ascertaining the remembrance of his great grandfather. Almighty will continue to bless him. Amen. Allah and for him let me give up. Amen. Let me give up to Allah and fear. To Nila and Kai. The more Allah and Allah and for him so he go. Amen. I grant him to put it like um and man he can do it. Only me alone. And to bow me the man physical. Whoever that I love, I make him the king. I make him occupy the seat of honor, the seat of dominion, the seat of control. Baba, and she so. Amen. And she we. Amen. Uh, it is people like you. We want you to represent our image in Lagos State. The image has been battered by the influx of non indigenous But the way I'm seeing you, by the time you mount the throne, ah, I'm a lala via Lekotopo. Allah will need bear a shell, a shell, and we. And everything we advance along with my Goliath, along with my fear and barkasi. Ah, who be here because of what we are into? We are into we are not bad. We are into we are not bad. We are into we are not bad. 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 The only king. So I wonder when the man was saying they want to know more about Kusoko. They've known a lot about Kusoko. They are only trying to get more facts from you. Oh, I don't know. The only king that fought colonial. Should I throw more lights to that? Colonial masters, they are those uh, that are colonial masters. They are those white people that rule themselves over us. I'm a civic teacher, I don't bother. Uh, don't mind. I want ni one wa forcefully je jobale wa lori. I was trying to tell our people in Lagos say one or two things. The evils are saying Lagos is no man's land. And you compare no song. Where were they? When the first white particles came to Lagos, 1470. 
you pay uh, Desmond, Desmond, you pay Pipe Tiaki, Ojo Kekere, you go in here, 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 eh mo tun ma pe isi ijoko adura kan eh ma so tun mo ifun yin ki ba ma pe ki to pe ma ti collect asin yin pe ko pa ida fe se eh le mo de mo wa dupe fun gogo eyin loba loba eyin loye loye eh eyin politicians ati ebi eyin olore ebi eh mo dupe lowo yin mo dupe gidigidigi eyin baba mi le butega abro mi ni korodu eyin abro mi ifon mi ele kusoko eh ati eyi ti e fi adupo te fi ta oja o dupe lowo yin o o dupe lowo yin eh de mi wa fi we no fi so i'm using this opportunity to thank every one of you who has made it fit to make uh, today a promising one and i know that your going home will be in peace and safety will also be attached to whatever thing and whatever movement you make today thank you so much for honoring my invitation and um, this will not be the end. This is just going to be the beginning of every other good thing that will be coming. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm beautiful. Uh, today is um, this the 15th of April, um, 2023, which happened to be the 151, day, 151 years um, that um, King Kosoko died. And uh, we are celebrating his um, death his life and um, all his actions and the inactions and um, because um, the um, removal of history from the institutions we realize he's not talking well about us and we said we should start talking about ourselves so that we can promote his legacy and also let people to be aware of our presence as his descendants uh, because we find out that people are thinking that um, he is not human he is just one, people, one um, fiction that people keep talking about. So, and this is also an avenue, being the third edition, for us to let people understand the fact that um, Kosoko really came. He lived his time. He was uh, he ruled as the Oba of Lagos, and he also participated in the leadership uh, tussles of um, what uh, uh, is um, uh, presently obtainable in the history of Lagos. And um, he is a person that enacts and jumpstarts the uh, commercial activities of Lagos. Uh, since um, um, 1833 up till um, um, 1872 and uh, its legacy in the terms of um, commercial activities is what we are enjoying today and on that platform the government of today they are also enjoying and um, we decided we should talk more about him so that they can also give him the necessary accolades and give him the necessary recognition that he deserves that is one of one part of the significant uh, of um, the celebration of today. Yeah, we are celebrating the 10th King of Lagos. Yes. And um, after him, we've had about um, seven other kings. And currently, the, kings, uh, the, the King of Lagos is um, uh, His Royal Majesty, uh, Babatunde Oshualale really won, uh, Akiolu I. Uh, is currently the Oba of Lagos. And he will continue to be the Oba of Lagos until uh, uh, God Almighty says uh, it is time. And we know it is not going to be the time yet because we still need him much more around us. But um, Kosoko was the first Oloji of Lagos. And um, I am the fourth Oloji of Lagos. And uh, this has always been the palace of the Oloji of Lagos. And it will continue to be the, of the palace and the resident, the official palace and the resident of the Oloji of Lagos. So we are celebrating the 10th Oloji of Lagos, the 10th Oba of Lagos, and the first Oloji of Lagos. Yes. In accordance to history, the first time this was celebrated was in 1933. And it was celebrated because um, uh, Oba Falulu had issues with some members of the King Kosoko dynasty. And um, he mentioned to them that the Kosoko dynasty is not supposed to go for shift and uh, uh, titles, but they're supposed to be uh, uh, come and be in line uh, to become the Oba of Lagos. But um, the Kosoko um, dynasty decided decided to uh, uphold that tendency that they should be able to be relevant within the palace of Igadugono. 
and they, uh, they go ahead and start asking for the title of the Lodge of Lagos. But something happened that they refused them the, the Lodge of Lagos and they went, as, they went back to take the title of the Asajj of Lagos. And uh, since then, they've, been, they've become relevant. And uh, after that, about two years after, the, the man who occupied the Asajj uh, title and occupied this palace was um, Oteni Yamomod was the surviving son, the surviving life son of King Kusoko, who is also the progenitor of um, Dide Kusoko. Yes, he is actor. And um, he was the Asajan and the Lodge of Lagos for nine years. He died in, 19, he died in, 14, in 1949. And after that, Aminu Kusoko, the grandson of Kusoko, uh, became the Asajan of Lagos. And in 1962, he was also made the uh, 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 a Lodge of Lagos again, and he died in 1975. So, that is the antecedent. And um, another person in the name of Adebola Dizuige also became the a Lodge of Lagos because in 1983 they separated the title of the Asajj of Lagos and the Lodge of Lagos, uh, and that the Asajj of Lagos should be the title that the, the children, the, the descendants of the Eshilokun royal family, which include Kosoko himself should attain. And the title of the Ologe of Lagos was declared only for the descendants of the Kusoko royal family and the Kusoko chieftaincy family. So on that ground, this palace was um, made to be for the Kusoko royal family and the Ologe chieftaincy family of Lagos. So uh, by the special grace of God, I'll be uh, the fourth Ologe of Lagos. And um, it has always been uh, in the history of this family that whoever becomes the Ologe of Lagos must have the two caps. And the two caps is the white caps. So right now I'm having the white cap as the Alasha of Ibutega. And uh, I'm also going to have the second cap as the Ologe of Lagos. It has always been like that because Kosoka himself had the white cap as the Ologe of Lagos. And also had the second cap as the Oba of Lagos. So he used that cap for so long, and he died with the same cap in, 1970, in, 19, in 1872, September uh, 15, uh, no, April 15, uh, 1872. And um, Otenia did the same thing and died in uh, December 24, 1949. Amino also had the same cap and died uh, in May 20, May, May, he died. 30th of uh, May and was buried in, uh, on uh, the 30th of June, 1975. And um, the other person who also came in, Demola Dizu, came in and um, in um, 2003 and died in 20, 23rd of December, uh, 19, uh, 2017. Uh, so I came in in uh, 2020, 31st December, 2020, and here I am. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting, I'm hoping that God will prolong my existence and my reign. Yes, you see, this palace was built in 1861, and I was commissioned in uh, 1862. Kosoko moved in here in September 16, 1862. This palace um, uh, established the beginning of the new phase of the Lodge of Lagos, and it's also uh, usher in the settlement known as the Equetedu in Lagos. And um, because of the position of this palace, this palace has witnessed the capping of about six white cap chiefs that are doing well in Lagos. This same place has witnessed the capping of over 17 other caps, white cap chiefs that are also kings today in Lagos. So the historical importance of this place cannot be put aside. And, um, and that's the reason we are making sure that um, it's an heritage for us. And Lagos State Government, uh, through the help of myself and some other well-meaning of the family, we make them to see it as a tourist landmark. And they've given that approval. So we have a museum named in memory of King Kusoko. So it's known as King Kusoko Memorial Museum. Where, we'll be have, where we are having over uh, 1,326 artifacts, all the things that King Kusoko used during his lifetime are all in this palace. You see his seats, 
He'll share his word given to him by uh, Queen Victoria, the one given to him by Charles, King Charles, the one given to him by King George, the one given to him by so many other people, his friends. They're all hanged around within the palace. So, of course, you're going to see some of them. That's the reason where this one is um, specially designed for that purpose. So that people will not just come to make prayers with us alone, will not just come here to felicitate with us alone, but they'll come and witness those important landmarks and relics that Kosoko left behind. We are proud of him, and Lagos should also be proud of him. This is, this is an heritage that has witnessed uh, the visit of over 712 people within 19 months of my existence as um, the Ologia elect of Lagos. Remembering past heroes and great legend is a very important ingredient to cultural and historical development, which is also very important for our progress as a society. One of such heroes is the great King Kosoko of Lagos, who is a core historical figure of Nigeria's metropolitan state. And we have come to the end of today's event, the 151st remembrance of late King Kosoko. It was indeed very eventful. We've heard the traditional prayer, the Christian thanksgiving, and of course the fiddle by the Muslims. This is a call vlog reporting. Kindly ensure you follow us across all of our social media platforms and do not forget to hit on the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am Olayinka Olorunshala. Thanks for watching.